afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to a Propagandacast news episode. Yes, indeed, there are some news, and they are related a bit to what's next for Company of Heroes. My goodness. Obviously, no official news, you know, no official announcement, like, you know, Company is free, you know, stuff happens in Italy, nothing like that. This is more in the lines of another survey, but this time, well, when you just put it on the forums, they've actually been sending out surveys to people just at random. Obviously, I haven't gotten the survey, so I can't sadly you know, share any sort of deeper specific, but basically, and this is all thanks to John Nessa Shakur, um, he basically got it, actually, I learned about it in the comments of one of my videos, which is like, oh, wow, well, that's kind of neat. Well, they're also paying off some free deals, here's a bit of a thanks there, but overall, Apparently they were asking about things like, you know, squad mechanics, power thing, but also just, you know, which theatre, like Pacific, I hope not personally again, if anyone you votes Pacific, I'm going to hunt you down and I'm going to make, make you eat a really nasty bar of soap. Nothing toxic, of course, just nasty. Italy or North Africa, or maybe Normandy again, but just not Pacific, please. Also just, you know, f like factions, caught for single player. Art style, I think, was also something they questioned. And obviously, again, I don't know the specifics. John Nestor Secure probably didn't put so much attention to it like, you know, I would have. So, I mean, if anyone you know, just casually spots, you know, such a survey in the email address, you know, you know, feel free to take some screenshots of it, you know, send them to me at propagandacaster at gmail.com. Link's also in the video description. So, you know, big thanks there. But already know it mention again, you know, what I always know you there is a company for the coming. I mean, there's obviously some people like, you know, it's never happening, Dane. It's the end of the world, Dane. How can you, you know, how can you believe in true Enseek, Dane? You know, well, obviously, again, I'm just, you know, the propaganda cast, fanatically zealous, but also just, you know, the facts, which is companies to sold millions, right? Millions. Again, we're talking, you know, lots and lots and lots, like companies to sold a lot. There is no way in the seven or even 13 hells, or however many hells you believe in, that a company's three is not happening. I mean, it was still for Nazis really successful, especially compared to, say, you know, the um, thing we don't talk about, Dawn Roof 3, being, you know, rather in the abysmal failure end of the scale, you know, again, where, you know, Camp News 2 was, you know, roaring success, you know, getting everywhere, you know, the invasion of Western Europe 1940, basically, Dawn Roof 3 was more like, you know, not very good, like the Italian invasion of Greece where they have to call in the Germans, basically, or the Dieppe raid. Basically, it didn't work out, as I predicted, by the way, like a year before the game was in release, but enough about that, though I did predict it. Key here is, though, again, more confirmation stuff is happening. Obviously, it's not going to be right away. The priority is going to be Age of Empires 4, but they're clearly going to be laying the groundwork there for Company News 3, and, you know, more details there would be nice, and of course, you know, again, if you do get it, vote Italy. Italy, 1943. It'll be cool. Trust me if they go there. But yeah, stuff's happening. Again, not direct confirmation, but you know, it's pretty obvious something is happening there. It's, as far as I'm concerned, you know, unless Reddit implodes or Sega implodes mentally, you know, it's going to happen because companies do sold really, really well. And they'll want to follow up on stuff that sold really, really well. Especially for an RTS, it sold really, really, really well. So, I mean, that is, you know, something worth keeping in mind. So, yeah, a bit of news there again for the skeptics, of course, for all the hopeful. You know, stuff is clearly happening. And again, if you do so happen to have the survey, you know, already done it though, I mean, feel free to let me more know about the questions. If you haven't, you know, quite to just see, you know, oh, hey, it's in my email address, you know, or whatever, inbox. You know, feel free to, you know, take some screenshots, send it to me. You know, you know, that way, you know, can sort of you know, spread the news to more people in a later episode, you know, with more details and with further analysis of what, you know, they might be looking at. That's sort of what I'm looking for, not just my own personal amusement, but, you know, able to, you know, give a further analysis as to what is really actually thinking, what are they looking for, and, you know, what potential paths might they take with a, you know, company or three. That's, you know, one of the primary reasons. I'm also asking for this, just trying to gauge what are they potentially thinking that we think or what they think we want you know that sort of thing then there's kind of some mind games there so you know whatever information i can gauge from that you know could you know give us a lot there's you know what maybe to expect so you know feel free to do that 
If you can, of course, a big thank you beforehand, if you do. And of course, again, big thank you to John Ness Secure, without which hmm, I would probably not have known this. So, there you go, a bit of news there. Again, for me, at least interesting news. I mean, again, for me, it's an extent obvious, but again, for them, some, there'll be you know, a bit more, hooray, shit's happening. So, there you go. Overall, that'll be it there. Not much else in the news department. Sort of not really noteworthy news. But if you like this episode, you know, subscribe, like, share, comment on it. And of course, a big thanks to my Patreon supporters, without which this episode would certainly not have been possible. So there we go. And see you all for another Propaganda Cast News episode. I hope with some more, uh, well, news on this uh, development. Cheers, everybody.